This highlight package proudly presented by Coach Canada. The Peets hosted the Frontenacs in a playoff preview on Thursday night at the PMC. Hunter Garland stole the puck and fed Nick Ritchie out front to open the scoring in the first period. In the second frame, Stephen Nozad got in on the action and gave the Peets a 2-0 lead from Stefano and Betzold. The Front scored two quick goals in the middle of the second period as Rob Polisello beat Andrew D'Agostini to get the Fronts on the board and Lawson Krause showed off his soft hands to tie the game up. Steve Lorenz gave the Peets the lead again before the period expired, though, with a nice wrister over Matt Mahalik's shoulder. In the third period, Michael Clark scored an unassisted shorthanded goal that forced Mahalik from the net. The goalie change sparked the Franz, who scored a shorthanded goal of their own off the stick of Connor McGlynn. And with just 11 seconds to play, Henry Ekenen forced the game to overtime with a scrambling 6-on-4 goal. In OT, Nick Ritchie bookended the game by banking the puck in off a of France defenseman, giving the Peets their fourth straight win and first over the Kingston Frontenacs this season. Here are the post-game comments. Yeah, it was. I mean, it's a team that uh, we're, we're likely going to play in the first round, so it's going to get a win against them and beat them all year, and uh, there's some, some good uh, performances by some guys on our team, and uh, it was a good win. Looks like, yeah, you know, they got a strong team over there, but we just got to, when we play them, we just got to keep setting our systems, and it'll, it'll pay off for us. Talk about uh, your playing and your defense partner, you guys going up against that, that top line, and you'll shut that, those guys down. Yeah, you know, give credit to them. They got a lot of speed, and, you know, we just stuck to our game tonight. Talk about uh, getting into the playoffs now, Connor. This is uh, something you haven't experienced before. How forward are you looking, looking for this? And now five, just five games away. Yeah, absolutely. It's very exciting. And, uh, you know, I think we're playing our best hockey, and we just got to keep rolling with it. Is it an emotional game for you as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, playing for, for two people now, and, uh, you know, uh, probably my biggest supporter. So, yeah, uh, every game is going to be emotional for the rest of my career. And, you know, everything I do is going to be for him. They kind of, uh, the team really backed you up. You were in the lineup, but they were able to win three for you. And now you come in here and help them win tonight and get a four-year win streak. Yeah, uh, the support was unbelievable off the ice. And, you know, the way they played on the weekend was unbelievable. And I sent a few texts and just joked with them a little bit, saying, you know, it looked like you guys were on a power play. Seven guys were out there tonight. So, you know, there was an extra one. and. Uh, for me, I know who that one was, and it, it was nice. It was a good three wins, one being in London, and you know that's four, and we'll look for five on Saturday. No, we did the season, and you were able to do it. Yeah, it's definitely good. Uh, it, was, it was a really big game. I know in the standings and points, maybe it wasn't a huge game uh, for them or for us, but it was certainly a big game in the fact that we're, we might be matching up against them in the playoffs. So I think it was really good to be played with them for 60 minutes, and uh, Dagger played great, but D played good, and uh, we just. Uh, we really bounced back good in OT to get that uh, winner instead of being all deflated because they got that last minute goal. Yeah, we faced a lot of shots tonight, but uh, you know what? We, we limited the quality chances compared to the last, uh, the previous games that we've, we've seen against Kingston. So, you know what? It's, it's great. We know we can beat them now. So, if we end up against them, there's no team that we can't beat and there's no excuses. So, uh, we're very confident right now. And, uh, and like I said before, it's just about uh, building some, some consistent play for the rest of the year. I told you. Three months ago, that you were going to come to the final few, few games and beat Oshawa, London, and, and then Kingston. What would you thought? I probably would have said we'd have a chance to, if you know, considering where I thought our team could be and how we could be playing. Um, but you know, it's uh, we're building off it and we're heading in the right direction. Uh, you know, for the right time of year. Andrew Dagstini, another amazing game. Probably uh, the reason why you were able to put the two points up tonight. Again, for me, that's been our difference in our entire second half. Has been our been our goaltending, and uh, you know they've been giving us chances to win. And again, that's all you want your goalie to do is make saves when they have to make saves, and and then the odd time make saves from you know where. And uh, he's been doing that for us, so it's good to see uh, he's playing well.